somebody will say, is marriage all about church? Well, it depends on the kind of marriage or the kind of family you want to raise. And I do not teach you as a marriage counselor. I teach you as your pastor, your spiritual director. And if you want to have a godly home, you must take note of these things. Because these are the things that are bound to cause issues in the marriage. When one is antagonistic, as against or concerning your commitment to the things of God, they might deprive you of serving God the way you want to serve Him on the long run. Praise God. We said number two, when they think that Africans are praying too much, it is not that, you know, They will say, it's not like I don't pray. I pray, but it's just that we pray too much. And I'll ask you, how too much is too much? How much do you think Jesus prayed? Jesus, who seemingly doesn't need prayers. Seemingly. When you look at it by face value, you see, the, what, what is Jesus praying about? And Jesus told them, he said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. And uh, I know that a whole lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about prayers and all of that. God will help us to give you guidance. You know. And when I tell you pray, 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 if you come to my house and stay for one month, you think that we are unbelievers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who have, how long did you stay in my house before you left? Yeah. At least blessing I've stayed, favor have stayed. There has never been any time I called and I woke anybody up, say, come out, let us pray, come out in the morning, early in the morning. Never. Even my wife that is lying on the same bed with me, when I wake up to pray, I go and pray. If she wants to pray, let her pray. She doesn't want it. her business. Heavenly race, I know go tired. It's a personal reason. Are you following what I'm saying? My children, I teach them to pray. In the morning when they wake up, they make their prayers before they go to school. So they know that it's important to pray. There's a prayer creed my wife taught them. They recite it. When they come to church, they see me pray. So they are seeing me praying as a lifestyle. It's not as a punishment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't pray as punishment. It should be out of revelation and understanding. That's why the ones you do in your house, when you wake up to pray, everybody's sleeping. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabriel, wake up and pray. You pray one hour, 59 minutes you are sleeping. You only wake up when you start to say, Amen. You doze off everything that you don't know. <laughs> what I'm saying is that if you are doing, if you love to do that in your house, it's okay. Are you following what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why you never heard when Jesus wake up, wakes up to pray. He will call, wake up all the disciples. He said, all of you, wake up. All of you, wake up. I let us go and pray. Even when Jesus went to the Mount of Transfiguration, he still left Peter. James, he still left them and went up to pray. They were sleeping. They now woke up. El Elijah and Moses was already there. I said, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Prayer should be what you understand the efficacy and live by. I woke up, I slept early yesterday. I slept around 10. So by 2 o'clock, sleep has finished. I don't know what to do. I just had to start studying, praying, doing all manner of things, and all of that. Just. 
I saw my mom go through a lot of stress because my daddy always want to pray. I'm teaching you so that you don't see, you don't go to your house and say, "Hey, you see, you are, you are, that pastor said we should pray. Pastor said we must pray." So you are stressing everybody out because you want to pray. Are you understanding me? I don't know what you want to see. Somebody coming. You are looking at. It. It's not Tunubu is not coming here tonight. There's no. Just focus on me. Gazing on my beauty should be your heart desire. Amen. Amen. Keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. Amen. So please, prayer should not be punishment. Prayer should be a lifestyle done out of revelation and understanding. So what should now be bring good should not be causing trouble in your family, in your house. It should not. You don't see your husband has backslided. She does, he doesn't pray with you. Every time people are quarreling because of prayers. No, no. If your spouse can't pray, pray for them. Amen. Pray for them to start praying. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This night is to help you and to help someone. So, but be careful when they agitate about prayers. When their face change, when you talk about prayers, be careful in that relation. If you are yet to enter, just watch it. Be careful. These are green, is it green or red? The red lights that you should be aware of. Red flags. Be aware of. Number three, they flirt or they like to flirt with the other gender. You can't be in love and still be in affairs. You are in love with me, and yet you are in love with God's power, and you are in love with great, and you are in love with Gideon. I love them all. I don't know who to choose from. Uh, you, are, you are a human being. I am not saying you are not allowed to relate with everyone, but if you have made up your mind to choose this person, please be with that person. Stop flirting. Stop flirting. You know what I mean. When you say, you know, some people will want to say, you know, I'm a sanguine. I can't really help you. You are you stupid. You are very. You know what I mean. But you just want to pretend as if you don't know. Uh, greeting people. Greeting should have boundaries. You're a lady. You shouldn't go about hugging everybody. Yeah? You shouldn't go about hugging everybody. At best, if you respect them, come. Uh, if you respect them so much, when I'm coming, you bend, bend like this. Uh -huh. Person should go do like, how are you? Uh -huh. You can't see that. It's not, oh, baby, I miss you. Yeah, have you been on this one? I should talk to them, Abby. Uh, you don't know you are causing confusion for these guys. You, you just did it with all your heart. But they have received it with all their, all their brain. <laughs> Amen. Stop flirting. Stop flirting. It's not good. Be giving people an impression that you love them when you don't. Then when they now come, you are now amazed. Why, why are you... I was just, I was, I'm just being me. So please, be you inside your room. Don't come out and be you here. Amen? Amen. When you go inside your room, be you there. No, not outside. You just like to be free. No, you just, you just, you just, you just dress. You just dress and you just, so you just come out like that. You say you, are, you just want to be free. When you enter inside your room, be free there. So the freedom you have in the bathroom is not enough for you. You still want to be free outside. Amen. Amen. You are not going to like me tonight. <laughs> you will like me tonight. <laughs> Amen. So stop flirting. Stop flirting. Number four. 
they can't make any decision without consulting their mother Hakimi generation as a that's a dangerous thing to do. you say you respect your mother oh your spouse is more important than your mother did you hear what I said you didn't hear me I know you didn't hear me I know you love your mother and your father very well you re- the woman that born you no they not bomb me did not bomb me do I say they are not important that's not what I said do I say you should not honor them that's not what I said but you must understand that just like you love yourself your wife is yourself your spouse is yourself don't love your father's family more than you love your husband did you hear what I say don't love your father's family that's your father's family your family depends on you very soon you discover that almost everybody in your father's family is gone it is now you and the generation of people you are raising that is when you will suffer the consequences of your stupidity if you if you don't pay attention to your children if you don't pay attention to your husband if you don't pay attention to your wife that's what you will the suffering will be real you will feel it you feel it you know that every stupidity does not go unpunished you know you neglect the people that will take care of you your old age not be, not defeating you when i say take care of it's not they, they, you will not be hungry and they will not be feeding no you say children is an heritage from the lord it's an heritage from the lord so pay more attention to your spouse than your children did you see I, I, you understand what I'm saying the, the, the rating for paying attention is your spouse first then your children before you remember your family am I talking to somebody your emotions will not allow you your, eh, we have family strong family bond nobody can separate me from your family it's when your marriage scatter you go back to your mother your mother will tell you go back to your husband he said please i'm in my husband's house stop disturbing me and my husband stop are you hearing what i'm saying yes, sir. that is when your eye clear you don't think oh, but i was doing all this for them It's a dangerous thing. Number five. You said when they have not gotten over their ex, allow them be with them. And how you know is every time they talk about it, say, Oh, in my bum. Story of the story of the one that they were divorced, but he is still he is now married, but he hung the picture of his ex in the city room. Did you hear the story? Who heard the story? He hung the picture of his ex in the city room. The wife has wondered one of the days she removed it. The guy almost killed her. Said, Do you know what she means to me? If the person means so much to you, go and be with them. Go and be with them. Please, let me beg you. Guys or ladies, don't beg for love. You will die. If someone doesn't have emotions for you, don't force it. Don't force it. Don't go and hammer so that you don't come and get the attention. Don't borrow shoe from God's power so that you, you go and impress. So, fake life. That's fake. 
any relationship you enter by impressing you need impressing to keep it amen i gave you eight signs to know that they have not healed or to know that you have healed from the heart so today we'll be looking at something different i've just been introduced okay amen Another sign you see and be careful about the person is they beat or abuse you mistakenly and later apologizes. Now I'm talking about the people that beat and apologize. So what should we there are people that don't apologize. So the people that beat you and abuse you and not apologize, you should be careful about them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Am I talking to somebody? You should be careful of the people that beat and apologize. Anything that makes any human being raise their hands at you, eh, they will never stop. Do you know the reason is abusers sometimes don't know why they abuse. Not sometimes most of the time the thing that tweaked their mentality about those kind of issues they don't even know how it got rooted in them they don't know sometimes it dates back to when they were little some of them or most of them had abusive parents who abused each other freely at will. Papa Megishi Monke. Come and beat me now. Come and beat me. I should come and beat you. I should come and beat you. Come and beat you. <laughs> so they saw all those dramas and it framed a certain part of their grown career 23. A part of their cerebral cortex was damaged. They will look normal. They will dress well for their abusers. You have to know where the problem is from to be able to deal with it. You have to. One of the issues I saw about my father, my father never, you know, did some certain kind of things. You know, but one thing I saw with him was he was an angry man. Anger. I decided to, I saw my father, my dad will come out for prayers, he will kneel down and be praying, God, please take this anger away from me. And I saw even in all his prayers, it never left. So I said, no, towing this path, I will be making the same mistake. I started studying and I discovered that the best way or one of the ways to control it is when you are angry, be quiet. Keep quiet first. Keep quiet. Learn how to put yourself under control. You mustn't say it as it is hot. Are you hearing me? Especially the ladies. Your mouth runs, your mouth is like a jet. A guy's mouth is like a keke. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your mouth is like a jet. Arr! It have reached. You know? So you have to be careful how you say it and what you say. Listen to me, ladies. Listen, ladies, are you listening? Be careful what you tell your man when you are angry. He will not forget it. He will not forget. Just like one that anytime she's angry, he said, in fact, I'm tired of this marriage. We are divorcing. We are divorcing. She kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it until one day, as she just said it, we are divorcing. The husband said, okay, we are divorcing. Pack your things and leave my house. 
He said, no, baby, I was just joking. I was just joking. He said, it's okay. Enough of the joke. We are in the marriage is over. We are we are divorced. Please don't say what you don't mean. You know, all through this meeting, what I'll be dishing out, it is even better for you. So that you just be just be hearing very well. Make sure nothing flies out. Don't say what you don't mean. No. Don't say what you don't mean. Number one, if they don't even take it serious, demons will carry it. And when they are now quiet, they will bring them back to their remembrance. So what am I even doing here, self? I had other good men, other better men I would have married. I came here and I'm wasting my time and my life. Be careful the things you say. Oh. Ah, guy will endure it. Mm. Say it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. When he makes money, he will suffer. I assure you. Are you understand what I'm saying? When he eventually makes money, you will suffer. So, but fundamentally, when we talk about abuse, abuse is not just when someone is beaten. You know, that's the only one we know as abuse. But most times, before hand is released, there has been a whole lot of abuse that preceded it. Preceded it. As when when a lady is running her mouth, nobody seen it. They will just focus on the man that that beat, because the man's mouth can't run like your own. I can't even imagine myself. I said, Ah, shall we? Hey, useless woman. Hey, he came back. He came back. Oh, I can't even imagine that kind of thing. But ladies, hey, see ya. Ah, hey. All the rubbish people used to say and do. I can't even imagine. If I, if I see, if you see a guy doing that kind of thing, what will you do? But you see us, we move like this. We are built for stature. And stamina. So the moment you want to oppress, I want to show you that a woman, listen to me, you can turn an angel into a demon with your mouth. And sometimes it's not about the person. You can turn an angel into a demon of your evil mouth evil mouth you say things without them. you say things they will drop you don't say hey is it me that dropped this thing <laughs> you, you just you just you just just cough and you say hey I didn't know I didn't know why have already done it on the knocking say what did I what did I do I didn't I did not do anything, no. I did not do anything. And that's why you need to be in meetings like this. If you people are arguing about anything, eh, and your husband wants to express himself, keep quiet. At best, kneel down. I'm sorry, my husband. I'm sorry. Hey. The man that will lay his hands on you as you are kneeling down has not been born. Now, it is the stupidity of your heart that will say, Me! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you don't know me. And you check her, what is making her yeah, do like that is because of uh, a mecca and God's power that is disturbing her. She thinks a mecca and God's power is interested in her. That's what she thinks. That's what she's thinking. You know? So if this one leaves now, she will just go to God's power. If God's power no grief, she will go to a mecca. It's when you go, God's power. Wow. 
That's powerful. The thing you did and this guy beat you. <laughs> do you know what I would do to you? <laughs> do you know what I would do to you? Because you just stay in one place and just be thinking one, one thing you are thinking. And some of you that think, you know some of these ladies now, you think, oh, Che Pastor Great is a great guy. Che is a great guy. Am I not a great guy? I'm so a great, I'm so great guy. Oh my goodness, my God. Some of you can't live with me. I tell you the truth, you cannot. You cannot. It takes it takes higher wisdom, higher strength, higher energy to be my wife. That's why when you see her, you just respect her. Just respect. Just respect. Just respect. You just think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't. You can't. The guy you are seeing here, just doing, making you laugh. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not. When I go, I'm not the same. I'm a man. The moment I come here, I become of God. Amen. When I go home, I'm a man. Normal man. Very normal. I can get angry. I get hungry. I want to sleep. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, there are certain times you ask me a question, I won't answer you. Are you following what I'm saying? You don't know this one now, but my wife knows. That we might be talking now. I'm no longer there. I'm no longer there. <laughs> so if you are the attention monger, you die. The only thing is that I say, I know you are. She wants you. If she wants you, now do. He said, I know you are no longer here. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm talking to you. He said, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll just be talking. I loop. I am somewhere. In between United States and Europe. I didn't reach Russia, but I'm somewhere. Amen. Amen. It's going to be a beautiful night, I promise you. Most times, what abusers need is not a... Um, it's not a... Uh, prayers. It's not a apology. It's not to apologize. Sometimes they just need counseling, rehabilitation. Yeah. Counseling. Yes. Now, I want to show you five major things. I want to help most of the ladies tonight. I don't know why, but I, 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 my teaching went in that direction. I want to help most of the ladies tonight. Ladies, can I help you? Now, listen, there are five major things a man wants from his woman and will never abuse nor leave you. What I want to do for you now is uh, what they call that thing. That thing they used to do. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That uh, thing they used to do now, women used to do for men, not to leave them. Kanyamamaka, Kamanak. Eh? Which one is aphrodisiac again? <laughs> Have you done it before? Okay, you used to do it in the north. Okay, wow, that's wow. So I want to mix aphrodisiac for you. What I want to give the ladies is 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 kanyamata now. I think the guys should go out. So when we when we are done, the guys will come in. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You want to go home? <laughs> Amen. Five things a man wants from his woman. Five things. Number one is gratitude. Gratitude. If you want to clap, you clap. Gratitude. We are in a generation that cannot be satisfied. Hey. She buy, he buys uh, Infinix. 
The first phone I bought for my wife was in Phoenix. 40,000 naira. And I don't know why she was rejoicing. I don't know why she was celebrating. She hugged me more than 200 times. The first phone I bought for her, 40,000 naira. Gratitude. Gratitude. I know a lot of men are doing this bone straight, bone, bone bending, bone curve, bone, all manner of bones that they are selling there. And are buying it for their spouses. Appreciate what he is doing. Even if he's not doing anything. Are you following what I'm saying? Are you following what I'm saying? Ibo Adage says, Ekene dike nankomere omekozo. I told you how my wife celebrates the minutest, littlest, whatever thing I do. And I can't just stop. I can't just stop. I'm not impressing her, but it's, there's something the gratitude that there's something is doing me in my heart like this. <laughs> I cannot, I never expected it. I cannot explain. Like butterflies in my belly. Hey. You can get so easily things by gratitude than by nagging. And get so easily. Let me say, he wants to cook a better soup. My husband, ah, my husband, ah, you are too much. Chai. Now, there is this soup I want to prepare for you. Like, I've already planned it, how to garnish it. But it's okay. If the money is no day, no problem. But I know one day we'll cook it. Ah, my husband, if you eat that soup, you will not survive it. The man now goes out to find a way to eat this soup that he will not survive. Are you following what I'm saying? It's not man kechi. How much they give her to cook soup? You are giving me three thousand naira. What should I do with three thousand naira? People are cooking. People are using fifty thousand to cook. He are giving me three thousand every time. Three thousand every time. Three thousand. When men come out, you too will come out. Everything the man used to be a man would die. 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 You can get so easily things by gratitude and by knocking. Knocking. Appreciate us. It's not easy to be a man. In all the prisons in the world is 3% women, 97% men. Because we are trying to make a way for you to enjoy. And yet you are not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Appreciate us. Now people want to be girlfriends of, they don't even mind if you are a ritualist, they don't even mind. And it's the men that are using people. And the ones that are thieves, arm robbers, kidnappers, this, that, this, that, this, that. Even if it's not up to your expectation, appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Appreciate that he's there for you and your children. Appreciate, oh, appreciate. 
because the world have taught you forget that him doesn't behave you you leave him it's when you leave him that you know that seven women will run to him they will run never tired oh baby you'll never be tired appreciate your husband though am i talking to somebody I'm not trying to exhort the men and make a man. When men time come, I would maybe not today. I don't know how much time we'll have. Appreciate your man. Appreciate your man. Stop looking from here and there. Stop looking everywhere. Now listen. One you need to know is that your man wants to know if he is enough in your eyes did you hear what i said your man wants to know if he is enough in your eyes your eyes i was enough in my wife's eyes You know, I've always believed in myself. But the lady believes in me more than I believe in myself. Are you understand what I'm saying? You don't achieve results like that. A man is his spirit. You need to speak to his spirit. That is why when they say be grateful to God, be grateful to God, worship God, worship God, worship God, because Ibo had this Ekene DK and Gomere. You will go to the evil forest and get the apple of life, the egg of life for you. you go there. Just be grateful. Just be grateful. Just be grateful. The life that you have now is what a lot of people will do anything to have. Anything to have. Be grateful. That's why they call you women. They say you are the homemaker. You can destabilize the atmosphere of the home. You can make it. No matter how terrible your husband is. That's why you are there. You are his helper. His helper. You are more equipped than him. You are more wise than him. You don't be stupid. Tell a lady beside you, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Your man wants to know if he's enough in your eyes. Must know. Don't come here and be and be and be and be telling me what 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 uh, this man is doing for the wife. This man is doing for the wife. So that when you see me celebrate my wife, it's not big. I'm not trying to scoop you. She does a lot of things that after she does it, I won't say anything. But I record it in my heart. I say, wow. It's a wisdom. You don't can be look, listening to failures. People that their marriage is is a, is a, is, a, is failing people that have break, broken their husbands like broken everything they are the ones that are advising you don't take nonsense from any man no then you will not take nonsense from the man you now go and start taking nonsense from a boy how do you appreciate the things he did and is doing for the family us as little as food. Us as little as food. Whatever it is. How do you appreciate? How do you appreciate his effort towards ensuring that the family is run well? How do you appreciate it? You have a faithful husband. You are admiring Whiskey. Whiskey's girlfriend. Should they tell you the trauma they face? Looking at somebody that told them they love them, still sleeping with everything. Should they tell you the trauma?
I'm a godly child of God that is faithfully serving the Lord, growing in grace, following mentorship. One of the greatest things that will happen even though we are coming there is to marry a guy that, that submits to mentorship. Just find one wild guy there. The, his only qualification is that he's ha- he has money. You want me to tell you the stories on my table? No, you 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 you, you better advise yourself. Listen, you need to tell him that he's good enough. Don't think it in your heart. Just like your mouth used to run, let it run with gratitude. Let it run with gratitude. My wife will be praising me like this and spank my ass. Aye, Odobu. It's not only women that they spank their ass. We have not started the teach, you know. I hope you are. I hope you are. The thing will sweet me in my brain. <laughs> sweet me in my brain. You know, a Holy Ghost baby with a touch of Ashawa vibes. <laughs> good, good combination. Oh, come on, be doing. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Okay, my Lord. All right, my Lord. No, that's not what we are here. You should know you are his wife. You are his friend. But then, you know, you should know how to strike the balances. Strike the balances. You should not play, play with your husband too much that you are not familiar with him. What do you do to the Lord? You praise the Lord. If he is your Lord, praise him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's your Lord. Praise Him. What you think and say about Him is more important than what any woman or person says outside. A man is going through a lot. He goes out, somebody calls him useless. You say, you, you are a useless man. You too. You are a wicked. You are a demon. You are this. And when he comes back home, he just needs to relax and, and think through. Think think into the future and see what tomorrow can bring. You are not bringing another nagin. Abba. That's what the Bible says. It's better to live on the rooftop. You don't know what you are doing to that man by that your ingratitude. You don't know. You don't know how you are killing him. And you are killing him. He's becoming more useless and you are not seeing that you are the one doing him. Are you listening to me? You the one know. You can pull out a king from a nobody. I told you the story of uh, what is her name now? Obama's wife, Michelle Obama. He said they walked into a hotel to eat, and the owner of the hotel came. Then they were still the president of America. The owner of the hotel came. He was greeted. Oh, Michelle, how are you? How are you doing? It's been a long time. Say, oh, Obama, this is um, I called his name was my ex those days so when the greeting was over they sat down to eat Obama turned to SAC now if you had married him you would be a restaurant owner he said no he told him if I had married him he would have become the president of America I don't think that you are too powerful or too mighty that you walked your way through you were too ambitious that you became it I have been destined to be the president's wife so whoever I marry becomes it because the part of that man will navigate through till he becomes. He becomes. So the days you wake up and I speak into your life. The days you wake up, you were tired, I helped you. The days you woke up, you want to give up, I helped you. Those were the things that helped you to become the president. These are the things. It's not you, you are there killing your own man. And you are, I, I, you are, you are, you are, you are. If it's not because of my wife. God's power, great. We would have been in a three-bedroom. Now, I will have already started. We already started looking for house because there was no money anywhere. There's no money anywhere. Praise God. I appreciate your man. Many of the big ladies you see in big cars can can sacrifice that to have. A faithful man. Faithful man. 
and when they wake up in the morning they see him say honey I'm going and I'm coming back and they know he will come back these ones don't know when, when he will come they don't know number two thing your man wants from you and will never abuse or leave you is loyalty loyalty the man wants you to be for him and not trying to win you over every time your man is trying to impress you win you over win you over win you over what will i do to make you happy what will i do to make you happy what will i do to make you happy now it's different when you are the right woman and he is going all out for you it's not that he is on his toes to impress you those are two different things you see the three ladies have left now they are no longer comfortable more to go if you see any lady stand up you just know that she, she doesn't like the teaching it has not started getting hot the, the, the soup is about to start boiling <laughs> listen to me women you are the homemaker now are you not you are you want to answer a name and you are not living up to the name you are the homemaker you are the you are the center of it all center of it all if there is issue your husband comes to you your children comes to you everyone is coming to you you are the one that have the more power praise god don't want what your husband what you and your husband can't afford don't want it it's good to have desires oh one day we are going to go to dubai one day we are going to do this one day we are going to do that have your plan as a family but don't want what you and your husband i know why i'm saying you and your husband you know why i'm saying it because some wives are running their homes as if is the husband's uh, investment so you must make sure you live up to the investment you people are co-owners of that business it's all here what i'm saying if the marriage fails it's not him that failed it's both of you it's both of you it's a joint venture i am the senior signatory to the church account but there are other two signatories if the other signatory doesn't sign even if i appear and say i am pastor a o great the man are you hearing what i'm saying even if i appear and prophesy in the bank and see visions the bank is not going to give me a dime until the other signatory signs do you understand it they will not give me a dime until the other signature signs. It's a joint venture. It's a joint venture. It's not a sole proprietorship. Your one wants you to be loyal. Be loyal. Be loyal. Don't be loyal to things. Be loyal to that marriage. Be loyal to that marriage. Be loyal to that marriage when you are loyal it's just like i love what some of my boys did the other time we are planning a program they came to me and said pastor we don't want you to spend any money we'll handle everything that's loyalty that's loyalty you don't say pastor you'll bring the one then we'll execute we'll help you execute you. but you'll be the one always bringing the money if you have the money and you can do it why can't you do it with a frown in your face, we are not paying this one, we are not paying this one, we are not paying this one. When there is money in your account, what do you do with your money? Do we train men to be useless and, and nonsense? No, we don't do that. Our men are responsible. But if you have the will without, it should never be seen on your face that you are bringing. It should never. It should never be seen on your face. Because how you handle those times is very crucial. 
very crucial now it's good to have plans and goals and things you would want to do but don't be desperate that it affects the peace of your home you saw and hear what i'm saying don't be too desperate that it affects the peace of your home don't be desperate for anything in the bible says be anxious for nothing in everything by prayer and supplication let your request be made known unto god stop switching loyalty because of physical things if you know your way you will help your man if you know your, i tell you the truth 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 statements in dicey moments in that moment of ah, the, the kind of statement you drop is very vital very vital amen loyal to says i am i'm for with you i am for and with you whether good or bad that's what loyal to says i am for you and i am with you whether good or bad that's why when you want to take your marriage vow they say for better for worse a lot of people are saying we should remove for better for worse that we are saying it is now looking as if it's a prophecy so there will be better times and worse times but it's still for better for us okay, don't deceive yourself with that illusion it's still for better for us there can be no forsaking second even a businessman that is doing very well can have business challenges okay you now have a job you, you, you can lose the job who would have thought that is a COVID-19 that many comedians were hungry no show no nothing a whole lot of them started doing skits a whole lot of them that was when many of them started doing skits you stay in your room you do skits you post thank god some of them already have platforms so they just post and be making money from facebook so anything can happen to anyone no matter their distance anything can happen Ruth, do you believe that i lost twenty eight thousand dollars in one day If you may wear my wife, what would you do? Hey, my boy. Well, what are you going to do? You say, hmm, hmm, I, I don't know what's happening now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. The cute guy you see outside, and there are so many things about them that you don't know Kyoto, Kyoto. some of them snore so bad hmm. you need pipe <laughs> yeah, some, of, some of them hmm. the rhythm of their of their snoring is is, is dangerous it resonates with the with the sounds of <laughs> some of them if you perceive their mess you, you you go to heaven first and come back killed you killed you amen that's why you that's why that's why most ladies they just like stars you just see whiskey whiskey you just you just walk with his ibo and he's a this he's hand just walking like this as if he doesn't go to the toilet. So they just like him. They, they will not open the car for him. We just enter and say, oh my gosh. Oh my. If you, if you see him in the toilet. <laughs> you, you hold the two walls. Want to pull it down. Am I talking of the ladies? Hmm? Causing avatar. In high places. Amen. Some of them have one bad habit or the other that they are struggling with. Some of them. But loyalty says, I am for you and I am with you. All the way. It's not a journey of 10 years. It's not a journey of if it works. It's a journey of who will work it. 
to work it every marriage you see that lasts is being worked and now i want you to do work your marriage so that you enjoy it enjoy it everything i'm doing in the house now is so that we'll enjoy our marriage enjoy our marriage i'm more loyal to her than the children three children she knows that if i can i can send them to exile and and i will not even know me no not even know but i'm i try my best to be there for them talk to them teach them anytime i teach as me something she will he will always go back to me and say no daddy say it's like this because my teachings are special i don't always talk but when i talk he sings he sings your loyalty is your to your spouse first then your children then your children will you still be loyal after you have smelt their bad side will you still be loyal huh? that guy now you are seeing in church fresh cute some of them you don't know the challenges they have but they just buff up and come out when you now meet them and discover that okay there's no really money that they are just fitting everything will you fit with him all the way long or you leave him first and now go to the other guy that is looking promising you don't go there you don't see that the guy is also fitting you don't say no it's not this one you don't go to the other one you now see that he's also fitting by the time you have tried jump 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 and you are now coming back all of them now have established relationships he said but you loved me and i yes i loved you but now i'm engaged am i talking to somebody now i'm engaged i'm engaged and the third one the third thing a lady must know and your husband will never abuse you or cheat on you or leave you is give him sex somebody say give him sex why are you not talking holy, holy say i say say it say give him sex the lecture is about to begin. <laughs> no, disclaimer, please. It's not for your boyfriend, your super boy. No. I say when you are I say your husband. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? How many times did I say it? three times so i say your husband i didn't say your boyfriend he said oh, okay so what will make you not to leave me is if i give you sex you now give him sex okay. now listen to me ladies every man loves sex so it's stupidity to tell a guy so all you wanted was my body you are stupid Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's nonsense. Every man wants everybody. Do you understand this statement? Eh? A, a man may love you, but will still sleep with her. But still loves you. I'm not saying it's permissible. I'm just telling you. It is nonsense to tell me so all you wanted was my body is stupid like it's very high level of stupidity to ask a man that that's why why you see a whole lot of wrong relationship that still endures is because they are having sex both of them knows that they should not be together but the day she wanted to separate from him she went to his house to tell him that she wants them to break up so while they were breaking up now they now had sex and the relationship continued for three months <laughs> ladies are you hearing me 
the stupidest thing you want to do is to know if a guy loves you by giving him sex that's the stupidest thing as he's doing that now if he doesn't love you he won't still love you a man knows what he wants on the first day he speaks with you he knows whether you are what he wants so leave matter for matthias you say if you can't give it to me i will go somewhere else let him go i'm talking first i know there are many singles now so don't think this knowledge just like it appears it makes wrong relationships to endure if you have sex well with your husband it will be difficult to have issues just imagine if you people are quarreling now eh? you people are quarreling and he's just shouting he says, eh, i don't like this i don't like this as he's saying it you start removing your clothes. <laughs> You, you, say, you are removed, you are off it. <laughs> Trouble in Jerusalem. You that is here nagging. Hey, I'm hungry. I'll give it to you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Just off clothes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I said disclaimer or 18 or 18 or is there any say disclaimer uh -huh. yeah, yeah, again. you want to show him you want to give him you want to mm. yeah, just 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 give him a dangerous sex as you people are on the bed you will not see that that issue is very so you, you will just settle it on the bed please so this husband husband don't don't try it with a boyfriend because you don't use sex to know a guy that loves you you don't you can never use it can never use it can never use it but in marriage you use sex to settle quarrel use it settle quarrel amen i thought i've been talking to spiritual christian eh? Okay, she's attesting to it. Of course. I'm married now. I'm not a single. I'm not a reverend father. I'm married. I will tell you. While he is still angry, come and give him the kiss of his destiny. He will not survive it. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Power move. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. Give him the kiss of his destiny. You see the, the kind of the kind of adrenaline that will rush now is is not the one that will beat. It's, it's, it's the one that is ready to devour. Power from above will come upon the young man. Amen. Great, why are you standing? Okay, you are snapping. Okay. Okay. Genesis 2 verse 23. He said, And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh emphasis one flesh in marriage you are not one spirit but you are one flesh do you hear what i said that's why the husband can be born again go to heaven the wife go to hell the husband can be the one that will go to hell the wife go to heaven are you following what i'm saying but the emphasis is that you are one flesh one flesh one flesh so you cannot decide 
to stay to say you are you are doing fasting like one will say that god told her to fast for 40 days and so for 40 days the husband will not touch her when, by the time you finish that fasting you'll be in the house of god <laughs> god will marry you you go you go to where you gotta meet god and god will marry you amen you gotta marry god god cannot tell you that kind of a thing are you hearing what i'm saying yes now listen listen in the order of family do you see the two times i just want to pick out two scenarios do you see that god came to abraham and told him carry your son eh? are you following what i'm saying he came to abraham and said carry your son and go and sacrifice for me in the mountain that i will show you he said yes my lord god did not go and tell sarah are you following God didn't go and tell her. When he didn't tell him, tell her. That one passed. God now decided to use the body of Mary, who was betrothed to Joseph. He came and told Mary, thou art highly favored from God. You will take him. You have a child. And after doing that, he went to Joseph and said, Please, I want to use your wife's body to bring something to the earth. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, to do that. To do that. So you understand ranking in the family. Not for anything. For God doesn't break ranks. Doesn't break ranks. So he said, both of you are one flesh. See verse 25. Verse 25. It's an interesting scripture. He said, and they were both naked, the man and his wife, and we are not ashamed. Not ashamed. Some, I'm telling you the truth. Though. There are some women that cannot be completely naked in front of their husband. They do, they do. Even when they want to have sex, they must off light. Somebody say off light. This senior class, oh, senior class. Somebody say senior class. Is an evil. Hmm? These are things men wants to see. They, they want to see it. Then he will not come into his house to see his own, and you are still covering it. Let it go. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? Even if you want to wear wear things that reveal the fabrics of the glory of God. Amen? Amen. We are things that reveal the glory of God in your house. Reveal it. We are it. Hmm? There are things I want to say, but... When you get married, you will say that. Or when you come for marriage counseling tell you that one. Amen. You said they were both naked though and they were not ashamed. Did you see the boy and his girl? Is that what you saw there? The boy and his girl. No, he said the man and his wife and they were not ashamed. Not ashamed. The man and his wife. Not the boy and his girl. Now listen to me, ladies. When you marry, and for some of us that are married, when you get home, I know after endurance run, you you are filled with the Holy Ghost. But I'm talking of in the future for some of you that marry. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, as you enter your house, keep the Holy Ghost. Say, my wife, come. I want to teach you what the Spirit taught me in the realms of the Spirit. Yeah. It's like I'm spoiling some of you. Am I spoiling some? So much. You are learning. 
The teaching is for learning. Yeah, so that when you marry, you, yeah, you, you unveil, you unveil the mysteries you have learned. And then I can be receiving a lot of love offerings from all of you. The things you have learned. Amen. Now listen. If you marry the virgin, good for you. You both of you learn together. But if you married with some experience, and some of you don't have some experience, you have experiences. Yeah. <laughs> you, are, you are the encyclopedia of experience. You bear in your body the marks of experiences. <laughs> If you marry a virgin, good for you. Both of you learn together, grow together, work your sex life by yourself and learn. There's so many ways you can learn. But if you have some experience, be patient with your spouse in case they don't have the kind of experience you have. Amen. If it's the lady that knows more than the guy teaching, but the dangerous thing if a lady knows more than the guy. How did you learn it? You have to explain. Yeah. How did you gain this experience? Yeah. How, how are you so good that you are so good? That, yeah. How did you learn it? Now listen, there are one or two questions you can ask as concerning your sex life with your husband. Now, it's, this one nice. This question is not uh, only for the wives go the man ask them how do you want it how do you want it please i'm not talking to the singles please i don't, I don't, I don't need your opinion in this matter uh -huh, wives and husbands please uh, this is a general marriage class uh -huh. ask them how do you want it ask 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 Christian man, am I communicating? <laughs> uh, ask. Uh, Timothy, are you hearing me? Uh -huh. When it's time, ask. Ask. How do you want? I'm not here to teach you how. I'm just telling you the question to ask. Amen. That's just my job now. To tell you the question you ask. They already... Uh, this one now is questions for experienced people. Uh -huh. So you ask them, ask them. And don't be rigid when they answer you. Let me say, hey, don't be rigid. Ask. You can also ask, what are your fantasies? What are your fantasies? What are your fantasies? And try to create room to afford them to fulfill their fantasies. Because these are the things that makes people cheat. These are the things. You have a very rigid spouse that is not interested in the things that they want. And then they fall into the hand of one useless boy or one useless girl that is ready to go and explore every fantasy that he is there. Amen. What are your fantasies? Ask them. Ask them. Know it. Know it first. If your mind never accommodates them, walk yourself up to it. You can. If it is a wrong fantasy, then you people now can seek for counseling to help correct the abnormally in their head. Amen. I have to it doesn't mean that you must fulfill every of their fantasies. Are you hearing one? Somebody wants to lick your eyes. <laughs> And that's their fantasy. You, say, you, say, I understand the you want to fulfill their fantasies. You say, my dear, you need help. You need help. Find a way. <laughs> Find a way and help them. You got to blind me. You have to blind me. <laughs> have to blind me. Oh, blind me. Amen. Now listen, in this one now, sometimes they may be too shy to answer you. They may be too shy to say it the first time. 
Uh, there are some things my wife asked me. What are my fantasies? When she asked me, I, the first time she asked, in fact, the first ten times she asked me, I said, I don't have any fantasy. But I had quadruple, <laughs> tremendous fantasies. Amen. But the first times, the early times in our marriage, she asked me. I said, I don't have any. That was the answer I gave. I'm a shy type. I'm a shy person. Can't you see? You don't see how I'm trying to even cover my face. Right? <laughs> Amen. Ask them, do you like this? Do you like that? Just maybe if they are shy to answer, then, you know, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? Maybe they can start opening up. But be flexible in your sex life. Amen. You came late, so we'll finish this. You see that nobody is going. You came late. We'll finish it. Somebody asked, he said, Can couples have sex when they are fasting? Yes. Yes. Can you have sex when you are fasting? Yes. There is no scripture in the world that said you should not have sex when you are fasting. First of all, there are different types of fasting. If you are having food fasting, does not necessarily mean that you should sex fast for married couples. It doesn't mean so. So the Bible said, if there is need, that you want to, you know, keep your body and mind and soul and spirit together, you should do it with your couple's, your spouse's permission. In a, it must be in agreement. Don't be holier than God. Now, now listen to me. Sex is holy. Sex is, sex is sacred. It is. That's why many marriages are not holding because a lot of people are engaging in it anyhow. Anyhow. Sex is sacred. It is. It, it, it yields wounds. It men's marriages. There was one case that they said they were in the courts. They were planning to divorce. But the next time they were coming for, for hearing, the wife was pregnant. The judge said, I don't understand. You are coming here for divorce and you are pregnant for the same man that you are... He said, I better go home. And they went home. Case closed. Because while they were still doing cat and dog, cat and dog, cat and dog, they had sex, she took in, and the divorce can't hold again. Can't hold again. Praise God. Bible said in 1 Corinthians 7 verse 5, Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again. That Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. So you don't fast to a point that your husband or your wife is now, you know, temptation now starts coming into the marriage and a whole lot of things can go wrong. Number four. Number four. We are wrapping up. I said five. I'll give it to you five. Number four. Understanding. Do you understand the man you have married? Do you understand the man? The most important person that you must understand is the man you married. Not your father. But the man you have married. Do you understand the man? Do you understand the man? Her man will not be the same with your man. Don't spend all the time trying to change a grown man. Some people try, what every, they spend, put all their energies in trying to change their man. While if you love that man as he is, you will have more results. You, have, you, have, you enjoy your life. You just enjoy a blissful, peaceful, wonderful marriage. But they put in all their energy in trying to change a man. Trying to change a man. That's not your calling. Understand his personality and his weaknesses and love him the way he is. Love him the way he is. There are ways you can work on his weaknesses. Just love him. 
be your, your husband's greatest fan. Be his fan. Bring out the best in him. That no matter what happens, there's a way you will understand the man and love him. You know, even if Satan knocks on the door, opens the door, he will shut it by himself. No matter how close he goes to going wrong. Because I can't afford to hurt my wife. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I'm just messing up and messing up and messing up. And only the only thing you are going is because you have four children for him. And because of that, let him try it now. He will try it and nothing will happen. Praise God. What we have these days is wives trying so hard to train their husbands why they love their children. The children they are supposed to train, they will leave them and be trying to train their husband. He did not pray today. He did not win today. He did not do this one today. He did not do that one today. But the children they are supposed to focus on and train, they will not train them. It's your husband you want to train. A man that the parents could not train, is you that want to train him. A man that the parents, you know what the parents tried to train him, they couldn't. But if you have decided to marry him, it's not your job to train him. Your job is to help him. Just be encroaching into his, just, just be, just gradually, just wildly, wildly. He won't drop everything, but with the wisdom that you use, you can see him become better and better and better and better. Amen. And finally, attention. Attention. Now, it, it um, baffles me the way they preach that women want attention. But in the real sense, it's men that want attention. You know now, a lady can decide to lock up from men. You know, a man can't decide that. Depression will kill him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, one, sometimes when we want to preach, it is not good for a man to be alone. We interpret it that, okay, God is talking about men as both man and woman. But actually, he's talking about a man. It's not good for a man to be alone. It's not good for his mental health. Not good for his mental health. That's why men are doing a lot of things. Because a man can't be loved unless he can provide. A man can't be accepted. A man can't be given attention. Except he is bringing something to the table. But the ladies are getting all the attention. A lady that can't do anything. You don't have money. You don't have anything. You want to date a guy that have car and built house. At your father's age, how many does he have? They're expecting from a young boy what your father even now can't give you. Eh? It's men that actually want attention. Not ladies. We need attention to thrive. We need it. We need it. We need attention to thrive. You see a wife, the children will come, oh junior, 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 junior. Oh, how are you? How are you? How what did you do today? What do you the man comes back? The man that is taking will come back. Your food is in the kitchen. And the man is dying. Welcome, pass. That's even if you say welcome. Hey, how are you? Have you eaten? Then if you find your job today, you attend to the children, you give them all the attention. The one that needs attention to sustain all of you is dried for attention. Dried of attention. A woman wants attention. You know, the way you know if a man loves you, he will give you attention. And then, so you are just there waiting for all the attention. My wife gave me attention. Attention. I was there looking for wife. She was just there giving me attention. She would just come give her ears. Hear all my rubbish. 
she will not go home without telling me and kneel down and say, Ah, oh God, please, this young man, please let him not make a mistake. 